You know, despite playing two incredible games right now in Animal Well and Rogue Voltage, seriously, check them out if you have not seen uh, these two amazing games, I figured that I should probably get back to doing what my channel does best, <laughs> which is showing off all of the great indie and, and roguelike games that are out right now. And today I have a really fun indie game for you. This is The Farmer Was Replaced, which is a, a programming idle farming game where we are going to be programming and optimizing a drone to automate a farm. Uh, and as we collect resources, we will unlock better technology, uh, basically more bits of code that we can uh, use, and we can use all of this to become the most efficient farmer in the world. Uh, looks like a banger. Massive shout out to Orbital Potato. He actually played this on his channel and then immediately DM'd me with, uh, you gotta play this. <laughs> so I trust my buddy Orbital more than anybody on planet Earth. Let's play and see what's going on. So I've read through the game a little bit. Um, right now, we only have a couple of code statements that we can put in our main function here, and that is harvest and do a flip. <laughs> so I, you, you know that I have to at least see to start out what do a flip does. Uh, so we can run our, our code here with this button. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. I mean, that's, that's about as, as useful as anything can be is just having this guy do flips nonstop. Um, Let's let's do a flip and then let's harvest our, our wheat, okay? It's just that simple and then he harvests. That's, I mean, that's the dream, right? So once I have collected grass, I can come in here and I can, I can unlock loops, right? This is our, our meta tech tree. And I mean, this is, it's actually kind of crazy, right? Like <laughs> there's, there's a lot going on in here. Uh, take me back to the farm. I, I need five wheat uh, in order to, to finish this so so let's let's do a flip and harvest uh, another couple times here so that i can appropriately grab five and then i would love to to get some loops going so let's learn about while loops if you're not a programmer uh this is really okay because this is some very very basic programming um the the developer actually says in the in in the first program part in here that this is a, a Python-based language, uh, so it's it's meant to be a little simple. Uh, Python is a really easy language to learn. If you're trying to get into programming, uh, Python is probably one of the easiest languages that you can hop in and learn. Uh, personally, I use it every single day of my life uh, in my day job. Just a brilliant language uh, and, and one that will not be wasted, and that's exactly what the dev says. Uh, the time you spend learning the syntax in this game will not be wasted if you want to learn uh, Python in real life. So, a fun little educational video here today. So, we've unlocked the while loop uh, and the values true and false. Don't worry about creating infinite loops. Delays in the execution will prevent the program from freezing. That's very good. So perhaps you've already tried to make several harvest calls in a row. Um, I didn't because I'm memeing and having do a flip uh, in there and I just didn't want to have it. I wanted to have a flip before each harvest. Um, this allows you to harvest several times in, in one run. Um, it's poor coding practice to do this. The solution is a loop. Okay, so it's good. Uh, a while loop, we, we can set up a little, a little while loop right here and basically just say while true. Um, now, if this is true, true Pythonic nature, we could maybe do something like this while one, because one will always return true. It's time to see if if this is actually accurate. Um, do you work? Yeah, you totally work. Okay. <laughs> so that's, that's now an infinite loop. Um, that's just going to go pretty much forever. Um, Want to look and see if there's anything else in here. Yeah, I mean, we've got while false, do a flip, while true, do a flip. Um, Normally creating an infinite loop is, is a problem, but in this game, we'll be fine. Okay, uh, cool. I, I like it. We're doing some indentation to dictate that these are the things underneath the loop. Um, if we wanted to, you know, get, get funky, we could do another harvest outside of here. And then, I mean, it'll never actually execute because <laughs> we're forever in the loop, right? Um, but if we had a way to break out of the loop... Uh, meaning this condition would fail, then we would start to harvest. So, just teaching you indentation. I feel like I'm doing a Python lesson now. It's a great, it's a great day to be me, honestly. Um, so I got 33 gold, or hay. Uh, increase the speed of the drone. 
increase the yield of grass. I mean, look, increase the speed of my drone. That's fine. We'll let him keep flipping. We do have if branches, so the execution speed has doubled. The problem is that the drone now harvests fa faster than the grass can grow. Interesting. Okay. Um, to deal with this, we have some, some if branches. I mean, I'm going to tell you, this sucker is definitely... Oh, it's because I'm doing a flip. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not actually noticing this. Let, let's let, let's see just how how fast the grass grows. Okay. Oh, holy crap, dude! Oh yeah, he go friggin' crazy. Okay. So I mean, doing a flip does it does make this easy. <laughs> but let's let's I guess uh, let's make this more more intelligent. So uh, while true. Uh, if you, if it makes you feel better, I'll I'll type it like this. I'm I'm not afraid to. Um, while true, if can harvest, then we will harvest. Um, else we will do a flip. Okay, and then we will harvest. And I think that this this is probably a more intelligent way to handle this. Um, because now we'll only do a flip. Um, if we we need to, right? Now, it's going to do a flip every time. In the end, this effectively turned into the exact same thing I did before, just more complicated. <laughs> the programming way, ladies and gentlemen. The programming way. Okay. Um, for beginners, if condition, do a flip. Else harvest. I mean, that's, that's basically... I mean, it's similar to what I did. Um, we've got the elifs in there. If can harvest. Yeah, dude, it's good enough. It's good enough. I mean, we're getting the job done. I think it works pretty well. Um, so I can make new code, by the way. Um, I mean, we'll see how that kind of unpacks itself. Uh, I would love to, I mean, I'd love to get more of these, right? But I'm not sure that that's, oh, unlocks planting. Yeah, I would love to do that. So grass is nice because it grows automatically. All other plants have to be planted with the plant function. Okay, you can only plant a bush. <laughs> okay, pass the type of plant you want into the function. So entities.bush. Uh, how about entities.georgew? We'll plant a bush under the drone. Call clear to reset the farm. Okay. Um. Interesting. So, I mean, I guess, I guess let's let's test it here. So plants entities.bush I'm just curious if I run this so you now grow a bush okay interesting um can I then harvest the bush so if let's let's set up the loop here right while true plant the bush and then if can harvest Okay, let's let's uh, we need to we need to figure out a better way to do this though because now um we need to have like a if um yes, I understand that's not a valid expression. We we need to be able to know is the bush grown. So if not can harvest then plant the bush um Maybe, right, right, that, I mean, that seems fine. Else, try to harvest the bush. I don't really know what the bush, I'm not really sure what the bush can even, uh, unlocks.operators must be unlocked. Okay, sorry, <laughs> that's fine. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess really I'm just making the, the same statement. So we'll do an if can harvest, we'll harvest, else we'll, we'll plant, and we'll plant an entities.bush, that's fine. So how this this is uh it's executing and then it's harvesting. This is giving us wood, okay, obtained from bushes and trees. I mean this is working fine, to be honest. I I think it's I think it's great. I think it's really great. We could have him do a flip in here, though. Like <laughs> if if we wanted to get to get interesting, we, we could we could do a, a flip, you know, like right after the plant, you do a flip, right? And then that way, I mean, look at how swaggy he is, right? And then it harvests. It we're definitely wasting time, <laughs> but I but I love it. But I love it. Um, 
okay, so this can I can I rename these? Yeah, this is this is plant a bush. Um this is just harvest. And then we can start to to make some more of these. So I would like to like to copy all of this code. Um and we will do a entities dot grass on this one. Because I mean realistically, I don't don't really think that I need I mean expand the farm land and unlock movement sounds great. I should increase the yield of my grass, but that requires us first uh planting grass, I'd say. It's doing like a double harvest in here. Maybe. I think that this is like so much slower cuz grass goes so much faster. But I mean this this is fine. We also, I mean, the grass regrows, so we we technically can just run this one. <laughs> yeah. But we really don't need it to do a flip, but I, I think we need it to do a flip. What I would like to do is I'd like to increase the yield of grass, and then we'll go into the, the uh, expand. This is a fascinating little little game so far. Um, the, the brilliant thing about uh, programming, for those that, that don't know how to program, is... The ability to create, you know, your own functions. So right now, can harvest is is a function, right? We're calling that to understand, you know, can we harvest this uh, this block of land right now? But we we are essentially making our own functions with each of these code windows, right? We now have the plant a bush function, which allows us to do this block of code. Um, so we're really, each window is kind of representing a function for us to, to mess around with. And that makes it, I mean, it makes it very fun, right? It's just a cool idea. So yeah, we've doubled our, our grass. Let's now expand uh, and unlock movement. This is going to, this is going to increase complexity a little bit, but that's fine. Our farm has grown. Space is not much if you can't move. New function called move that moves the drone. Okay. We got drone.move. Four new constants, north, east, south, and west. Brilliant. If you move over the edge of the farm, the drone will be moved to the other side of the farm. Okay, so let's let's test this. I'd like you to, to, to pause for a second. I'm gonna make a new code window. So I just want to test. So drone dot uh sorry, drone dot move east uh here. Please work with me. Drone dot move east. This is going to move him. Drone has never been defined. Excuse me? <laughs> can can I uh may maybe it's just move. I'm sorry. Um I saw the drone drone dot move and my brain went into programmer speak. Let's just move east. Okay. So that is effectively pushing him to the other side right now. If I go drone dot south, he's going to go yeah, to the top. Okay. Perfect. I mean, this is easy, right? So now we want to basically set up a loop. Um, sorry, not a for loop. Uh, we're, we're using while loops in this house. We, we want to set up a while true, he moves south. But first we want to harvest. We're going to harvest. We're going to move south. I mean, I mean, this is pretty, pretty spicy, to be honest with you. It's hard to be mad about that. Um... But here's now an interesting idea, okay? What if we do a harvest move? So, so we want to start him right here. We're going to harvest, move south. We're going to plant a entities.bush. We're going to do a flip. And then... We're going to harvest, move south, plant an entities.bush, do a flip, and then move south again. And the idea here is uh, we'll get to here, then we'll harvest, and we're going to be like creating a weird little where, uh, except now we're, now we're harvesting before stuff is ready. Um, so we can we can do a if can harvest here harvest i think in the what what i'm trying to to make happen 
is get where we're we're creating okay this is <laughs> this is this is not working too effectively well <laughs> Yeah, I mean this is actually this is this is a heinous war crime on society. Okay, um let's let's rethink you. I'm trying to get where we're we're planting both wheat and bushes at the same time. Um in a way that makes logical sense. So if can harvest, we harvest. Then 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 what do we want to do? Um because I, I mainly want to keep just one of them as a spot. So what what if we do a little up and down movement? Okay. So if can harvest, we harvest, we move south, we harvest. Okay. Because this is going to be this is gonna be wheat. Then we're going to move south. Okay. And then we're going to harvest. So this is going to take care of we're going to we're going to effectively Plant a entities dot bush. Okay. Then if we can harvest it, we'll harvest it. Otherwise we'll move. We'll harvest the wheat. We'll move. We'll harvest the wheat. Then we're going to move back north. And we're going to move back north. And then we're going to harvest. Because at that point, I'm sorry, this is off the screen now. At that point, I think maybe the bush will be ready. You know, maybe maybe we do a flip before we harvest the, the bush at that point. Let's see what happens. So it goes, it goes. It does the flip. It plants the bush. It goes. It's not quite good enough. Um, but what we can do is we can re-harvest these on the way back up. Okay? So we'll do a harvest here. And then we'll do a harvest here. So it'll be... Yeah, but now now he's in the wrong position. <laughs> I need I need him we we need a we need a new function, okay? This function sucks. This is going to be uh, a new function called reset drone to top, okay? And it's just going to be a simple move north. And that way I can execute um one step of code to move him to there and then we can test our our main function here. Okay, I'm harvesting a couple too many times. Um, remove this one. We're going to wait on do a flip. And then we'll do an if can harvest here instead. We, we want to not have the if can harvest here. We'll do a, a plant the bush, move south, harvest, move south, harvest, move north, do a flip, M move north, harvest, move north, do a flip, check if we can harvest, and then start again. Okay. Brilliant. And then you're planting a bush. We get to there. Okay. It's, it's working. Okay. It is working. Um, but if we do, if we do two flips, bro, then this will be pretty much squared away, I think. Because after two flips, that will be ready to harvest, for sure. One, two, harvest. It's, it's actually perfectly on time. Okay. I mean, that, that, it's not horrible, right? This, this way we're getting some wheat, we're getting some wood, um, and we can move into our, our life here. So 330, this is just 200. The drone can see what's under and where it is. Well, I mean, that would have been, like, really helpful for what I was doing. <laughs> but that's that's fine because now we can probably sense um whoa okay get position wow there, there's a lot here okay the drone can see now so the functions get position x get position y returns the current x and y at the start position they're both zero um so i'm assuming start position is the middle right Num items item returns how many of an item you have. Um, for example, num items items dot hay returns how much hay you have. Okay, cool. And then, uh, yeah, we. I mean, we've got a bunch of stuff here. So, 
let's 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 think about how we can how we can improve this to potentially make it more more modular and intelligent i do think that this is pretty good in its current state um but we can probably build something better than this so so let's think about it. i'm gonna put this over here i'm gonna add another new script um so what if we just made it modular as to what gets planted right so we can say we, we can start to to think about um we can start to think about what what kind of like a, a limit you know I mean, we can unlock carrots we need a hundred wood for that so if we wanted to you know this is some modular amount of a good so we can say if num items of items dot wood is less than a hundred then we are going to plant bushes instead right so so we would want to plant entities dot bush and then I mean, what do you do after that, though, right? Because now, now we need to basically build out all of this logic again, I think. <laughs> because then, then we need to we need to figure out. I mean, I like this, by the way. If if get entity type equals uh, a bush, then we then we do a flip. But the problem is the bush takes. It seems that the bush takes like. I don't know, three flips to grow, right? So we could do, it if this, then, then uh, do a flip, right? I mean, we, we can do a flip three times. Um, I mean, we could make a loop for that if we wanted to. This is, this is not the most efficient way to handle this. So if, we have less than a hundred wood. We plant a bush, we do... I mean, you could do this differently, right? We could instead say, um, plant a bush, move south, plant a bush. So this is now, I mean, we can loop this entire thing. Sorry, not a, not a, not a, not a for loop. I'm continuing to, to want to for loop my way to insanity. While true, if we have less than uh, the required amount, then plant a bush, move south, plant a bush, move south, plant a bush, move south. We're going to do that three times, right? Can I, do I have variables unlocked? Okay, those, those come soon. <laughs> I, I would like to have a variable that I could keep track of how many times I'm looping. Um, understood. I mean, I get it. You want to slowly ease our way in. We could instead do plant move south do a flip and then we loop that right and then you basically just slap a if harvest right if can harvest then we harvest is this just good enough i think this might be right error um i don't have operators yet okay bro give me operators then 330 give me my operators please um that way we have arithmetic operators we have comparison operators and we have boolean operators fantastic i mean that's a that's a great life for tyler you don't need to know all the code i'll teach you the damn code okay this is a lot of boolean logic don't need it okay we do not need it this is actually very useful to see all of the available functions um this is actually really useful to see. So it takes the time of 200 operations to execute. One operation otherwise. Planting, moving, like getting all of the, the nitty gritty details. Very, very useful. Um, let's try this. So you're going to plant bushes. And then it goes back to the beginning. It harvests you, it flips. And now we have basically, if I need wood, we've created a program that very efficiently collects wood, I think. Um, I mean, we could also add in like a, instead of the do a flip here, if can harvest, 
because it's it's like just it's very close to to being able to. So if can harvest, we harvest. Otherwise, we do a flip, right? And then it's just going to slowly go through them. This will get us back on track because now it's going to. I mean, is this really more efficient? To be honest, yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty good, actually. We do we we waste a lot of time having him just just kind of move. I mean, the other option is what what if we just convert this to be a a move south, man. Bro's going to be, like, zooming this whole time. Because he's just going to scan, waiting for them to be ready to harvest. I just like doing flips. <laughs> I think I just like doing flips is what it boils down to. It's very fun to do a flip, man. But this is a, a way more efficient approach. Because now we're just constantly scanning, waiting for stuff to be done. We could move him like a psychopath too. I mean, if we wanted to create more complex code, we could have it instead of just kind of looping going south over and over, we could have him go up and down instead and check the middle one on the way back up. But I I mean, I, this is pretty efficient, right? So now this has paused because, uh, I mean, we're in an infinite loop, but we've reached 100 wood. So now we know that we can come in uh, and we can unlock carrots, right? Is that, is that what I want? Oh, these can be upgraded again, bro. Wow, holy, okay. I mean, this is, this is so much more important. Now we have four loops. Oh, baby, okay. <laughs> now we start to get some things going. They're, they're now providing hints for me. I'm going to be, oh my lord, look at this. Okay, brilliant. Brilliant, we love this. Um... How do I want to handle this? I mean, I can handle this in a lot of ways. So this is my, my scanning going down the line each time. This, this is all... Can I, can I add comments to my code? This is all to move south, okay? I'm glad I can add comments. Um, we need to implement another loop, right? We need to be able to do a while true three... You know, while three times. Right? Which means I need variables. Can I unlock them right now? No, I need friggin' carrots. <laughs> and I need friggin' wood. Okay, fair enough. Variables are gonna make a lot of this uh, a hell of a lot easier. But we can also use for loops. So, we can do a for loop while in range of something. Apparently, we're allowed to use these without variables, uh, which is very exciting. So, let's, let's try to remake this as a for loop. Um, so, for... 4i in range 3, right? We are going to... I mean, we need to do a, a doubled for loop here. So so let's do 4x for, for in range 3 and 4y in range 3. We are going to basically move the drone to a position. Okay. Oh, we also have get world size now. I mean, that's even better, right? So now we can just add get world size here. And then that allows us um, to get the current size of the farm, which is currently three. I thought I was just going to have to manually add in that little bit. Um, and we need a colon right here. I understand. Don't, don't worry too much yet. This is going to be fine. Um, what I'm, I'm curious about is... When we use move, right now is just doing movement based on... Do we have a movement based on position that we can unlock? It appears like no. Um, this is kind of not doing what I want. Um, but maybe we can, do, we can do something here. So... As we loop, we basically want to, if y, when, when we exit, so we're, we're <laughs> sorry, sorry, programming live on stream. Um, we're not live, actually, it's live in a video. We're going to enter this loop. We're going to do this three times, okay? I want to reset my drone to the top, by the way. Beautiful. We're going to do this three times. So that's going to go and do this line down 
And then when it loops back up, it's going to exit the loop. Right here, I want to move east and then do it all again, okay? And now we can probably send it. Let's, let's see how this goes, okay? So he moves east. He's still doing a move south at the end, which is making this, I mean, it, I'm gonna tell you, it still works a little bit. Um, and then you would just set up a, a while true on the top of this. But we can make this look a lot prettier if we ensure he's on the top, right? So if get position X, I would love to know, I, I guess I don't know whether this is zero, zero, this is zero, zero. Let's, let's look at our positioning again, um, which is senses. So get position X, get position Y returns the current X, Y of the drone at the start position. They're both zero. So let's, let's just get, get a new piece of code. <laughs> Why not? Right. Um, I would like to see what get position X currently provides me. Um, can, can I just like print it? How, how do, how do I, how do I actually see that value? So can, can I print you? <laughs> do you just open up like a little debug console? Unlocks.debug must be used. I'll oh, frick you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I need 230. Okay. Let's, let's run our code a little bit jank for right now. Um, I'm fine running it a little bit, Jank. I need to get some some grass here. Okay, so if I just change you to grass for right now, this code will work. Um, this needs to be let, let's let's just we we need to comment that out for right now. We'll get back to using that in the future. But now we have, I mean, it's it's a little jank, right? It's a little jank. But it, it is going to be, this is now, I mean, this is so much more effective. This is what I wanted it to do. It just doesn't really work super well with bushes. <laughs> That's the only problem. But very, very effective otherwise. Um, we need 200 and we need 30. And then we need the carrots again. Just just wait and send it. Okay, so now we got debugs, um, which is very exciting. And I now have print statements as well. The print value goes directly into the air. That's, that's brilliant. Okay. So now we can do a test, right? I want to stop my code right here. And I want to print the position of X. It's zero. Okay. Um, can I print the position of Y? I'm assuming this is also zero. No, this is two. <laughs> okay. So zero zeros in the bottom right. I would like to execute this once and then run this again is this zero zero okay so we're going we're going mathematical grid approach not a uh, python array approach so this is zero zero this is one zero two zero this is zero one this is zero two so we basically want to recreate this that if get position x is we're, we're going to end up looping in here while we're going to do while position get position x is not equal to zero move east okay and then also while get position y is not equal to zero, then we're going to move north. And basically that means that as soon as we, now this is, this is not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work, but I'm, I'm curious to see how it, how it goes. Yeah, it's, it's just going to do one line because it's always going to reset us up here. Um, We, we need to, we need to have this code. We need to have this here instead at the first bit of the, the loop, right? This now 
we do that. That's still just doing uh, the, the line down. Um, we want to add back in our move east here. Uh, reset you to top. So now, okay, beautiful. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty good in, in all honesty. It's still not exactly the pattern that I'm looking for, but because we do four harvests on each round, but I mean, it's fine, right? I think it's completely fine. Um, now what we, what we really need to do functions to temporarily slow down the execution of the grid. That's interesting too. Um, we need to get carrots unlocked or I need to speed up our yield of everything. Um, I mean, increasing the speed of the drone, I'm going to tell you this, that's less important to me. Getting more grass would be sick. I mean, he is going way faster now. Holy crap. <laughs> this, this, this is nice. And then we can increase the yield of grass and we're getting three per now. Holy dude. We're zooming. We're absolutely zooming. Okay. Um, let's, let's get wood back going. So we're going to change you to be an entities.bush. And this is going to make this a lot more more interesting. I'm gonna tell you, uh, it's it's gonna start going kind of kind of sicko mode because now we're we're going to be scanning all of the. Bu I mean, this just works fine to be honest with you. Um, it's it's completely okay as long as it's scanning each grid. I I really think that this is doing nothing. <laughs> we we can remove that code. Um, as long as he's having a nice scan. I don't know how we got some wheat in there, but I'm not... Okay, how, how are we planting wheat? Some, something's going kind of weird that we're planting wheat in there, but... Oh god, and now he's... Now he's in hell. <laughs> okay. Oh, because we're at 100 wood. That makes sense. Okay. Um, unlock carrots. And now we got carrots. Oh, but carrots can only grow on tilled soil. What the frick? Okay. Second new feature is that carrots need seeds to grow. You can buy carrot seeds with the trade function. What the heck? Okay. Um, you can see a cost of any item in its tooltip. Excuse me? Right click for more information. It's just carrots in its tooltip. Okay, tooltip appears when you mouse over the item itself or the item name in the code. Okay, um, well, let's, let's, when we move east, we'll try to perform a trade. Okay, so we're going to trade entities, we're, we're going to trade entities dot carrots. Is that how this works? You can pass any item to trade. If an item can be bought, then it will be bought with this. I mean, let's see what happens, right? The one argument of entities.carrots is not valid. Okay, carrots take six seconds on average to grow. What, what am I missing with trade? I'm assuming that maybe we... Items.carrot seed, sorry. <laughs> that would have been intelligent. Uh, this is, again goes into the I can't read component. So can we, okay, now we're trading for carrot seeds. Okay, brilliant. That works. Um, I really think that I'm not proud of this jank little code here because it's, it's really not doing what I want it to be doing. Um, and thus I feel inadequate, but it is fine. I mean, it's, it's, it's doing, it's doing okay. The thing is, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I'm missing... We we need we need a minus one here and a minus one here. Cause the for loop is going to go zero one two. Or is this gonna crash? Hold on. It, this is this is now absolutely incorrect. <laughs> put put me back on put me back on three. I think I just have an extra move south in here 
Re reset you to north. I wanna I wanna really figure this out. Um So you are going to move east, give me carrot seeds, then you're gonna enter a loop. You're going to harvest once, move south. Yeah, we have another move south in here. We we should remove this. That that's why this is acting weird. Cause now he'll just do each line. Oh, that's so much better. God, that's so much better. Just makes me feel like I, I I know how to code. I promise you, this is my day job. Not collecting goods with uh, a little weird drone uh, in a farming society, but similar. This is so much more pleasant to look at, um, and we love that. Can I get a drone upgrade? That requires a lot of carrots. We gotta start planting carrots, okay? So let's um. Let's start planting carrots. So if num items, items dot carrot is less than, we got watering to, to unlock, we unlock trees. Holy crap, dude. Okay. Um, give me if items dot carrot is, is less than 50, then if can harvest, we will harvest. If can till, we don't have can till. So let, let's just till then. And then we will plant entities.carrots. And this way we, we start to oh look at this. I mean he's a little he's a little off right now. Um but that's okay. I mean we're we're planting I mean we end up planting wheat in between, um which is a little jank. <laughs> it's a little jank. But, I mean, we get wheat out of this, so I, I think I'm okay with this. And I'm watching our carrot seeds, right? We're, we're kind of... We're, we're keeping a weird... I, I think we're slowly losing carrot seeds, but it's, it's very slow, right? I mean, we're going 30 to 29. But then we gain more carrot seeds whenever we, we trade. But now we have 50 carrots, so everything kind of gets squared away. Um... I'm also just dumping wheat away now to get carrot seeds. So we probably want to have like a catch-all in here that if this is less than 50, um, then the else is to return out of the script entirely. That way we can set up, this is kind of our condition to exit, right? I don't know why I added parentheses there, but I, I think it works fine. I think variables are a sick idea here. Um, expanding the farm is also a sick idea. Variables allow us... I mean, that, that transforms the game. I can't actually do that yet, though. You know what? Set me... Set me this to, to 150, and then, and then kick you off again. This way, I mean, we, we get some carrots. We, we're going to get some... Uh, some wheat still, which we need the wheat, so this is this is all fine in my book. I feel like idle game may not be the right thing to say for this. I'm pretty actively doing stuff <laughs> in this game. Pretty actively providing some some code into my my system. I feel like these carrots are uh, not. I feel like I'm I'm retilling and harvesting carrots before I should. I think I'm definitely re uh, doing that. So if can harvest, harvest and till. Otherwise, don't do anything, right? You can maybe do a move south outside of that. I think I've been doing this very wrong. Because this way now, um, he's not going to harvest unless they are ready to harvest. He's just gonna check every possible location. Right? I mean, this is, my dude all kind of messed up. <laughs> he, he ain't got a clue what's going on and that's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm happy for him. Um, let's just, I need, I need wood, man. I need wood more than like anything else right now. Switch this back to uh, items.wood. And then get this to uh, bush. And then we would get rid of the till in here. This this is where um, 
we start to to increase complexity. I should not be. I should be creating different functions for planting bushes, planting carrots, planting hay, right? Because otherwise, this is uh, it's a lot messier. I guess you can still till land here. Um, I mean, this this works pretty good to be honest. So I'm not I'm not overly upset with that. The speed upgrade is is fifty. I kind of want the expansion upgrade first, though, because that just gives us even more land to work with, going to a 4x4. Four four. So let's do that. And the best part is that our, our farm will actually be able to just adapt to it, because we're using get world size in here. So every time we upgrade that, we just get a little better, right? Which is a really nice place to be. But now, because the drone has more land to keep up with, um, he needs to be faster like he actively needs to be faster so then the speed upgrade is our next big uh accomplishment and then it just keeps going and it keeps going and it keeps going and it's a it's a lovely lovely situation for us um give me that speed upgrade and now this sucker is gonna be friggin moving it doesn't feel like he's moving that much faster than before but i i like uh I like the approach. I like the approach. And I think that it's a, a very nice one. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode of The Farmer Was Replaced. Uh, what a game, to be honest with you. Uh, educational, fun. I what What's there not to like? I like any time that I can uh, create some, some educational gameplay <laughs> on my channel. A uh, lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching. Check this out It's $7. Link in the description down below. Um, programmers, go, go break the heck out of this game. Uh, you know you want to. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.